Okay, hi, welcome back. Today I thought I would talk a little bit about paint chemistry, and the reason I want to do that is because I recently bought these AK Interactive uh, Real Color Paints. Uh, those are marketed as acrylic lacquers, and that's caused a little bit of confusion. It started when Mr. Paint released their lacquers uh, and, and and classified them as acrylic lacquers and started marketing them as, as such. Uh, people were buying them and being a little confused because they uh, weren't diluting with water, weren't cleaning up with water, and smelled like lacquer thinner. Uh, so people start saying, well, is it an acrylic or is it a lacquer? Which is it? It can't be both. Well, actually it can, and that's what we're going to talk about here with this video. We'll start with the lacquers, since that's where uh, the idea for the video came. The, 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 th the three lacquer paints I have are Mr. Color, uh, AK, Inter AK Interactive, and Mr. Paint. And I have large volumes of each of these because I've come to prefer lacquer paints. Now, lacquer paints are classified by their solvent. Uh, generally used to lacquer paints or anything lacquer was made out of nitrocellulose, which is a plant-based product. These days, there's synthetic man-made lacquers, and that's probably what these are made out of since they're cheaper and easier to come by. You're not really going to ever find an ingredient list for these because like, they're, they're proprietary paints, and they're not going to release their, their ingredient list to tell you everything that's in them when somebody could just you know steal their their recipe and copy them or, or make their make their own product from them. Uh, the AK, the, the, the AK, the Mr. Color, and the MRP are definitely lacquer paints. That means they have a lacquer-based solvent. <clears throat> Lacquers dry by the by the solvent evaporating from the surface when you spray them. That's how they dry. They're the fastest drying paints, generally. Um, it, it, lacquer thinner uh, varies uh, in, in, in evaporation rate, uh, Mr. Mr. Color Leveling Thinner is a, is a slower evaporating uh, lacquer thinner. The idea there is is it acts kind of as a retarder and that the paint goes on wetter, it dries slower so it will level level nicely. And, and, and with lacquer paints, if you, if you get a high temperature when you're spraying them, you can get, you can get dusting to where, where the paint dries before it hits the surface. Uh, so the Mr. Leveling Thinner is a slower, slower drying lacquer thinner, where the regular Mr. Color Thinner uh, would be probably a medium speed drying lacquer. And most of what you're going to see in hardware stores is just generic hardware store lacquer thinner is generally medium to slow drying, uh, d depending. Probably it probably depends on on where you live. If you live in a in a harsher, warmer climate, you may may see slower dryings, and if you live in somewhere that's cooler, you may see faster drying. Uh, it just really depends and and what they're used for uh, in the industrial and and home building and, and tool cleaning and, and uh, you know, commercial use. But for the hobby purposes, um, I can guarantee you the missile leveling thinner is, is is slow drying, and the medium uh, the other one's going to be medium drying. Uh, they'd be too fast. They would dry too fast if they were if they were fast drying. But that's the big difference in lacquer thinners. <clears throat> Uh, the, the Mr. Color and the AKs, you'll find out when I do the review, are, are very thick in the bottle, so they have to be thinned down a lot. Uh, Mr. Color is usually at least 70, 30 paint, uh, thinner to paint, in my experience. These are these are pushing 60, 40 maybe. Uh, just depends on, on what you want to do with them. These, you can spray right out of the bottle. Generally, I've had a couple colors that needed a tiny little drop of thinner here and there. Uh, but these do spray nice out of the bottle, the Mr. Paint. Um... I'll talk about the enamels real quick. Like I said, Model Master is the only enamel I have. Now, enamels are classified, again, by their solvent, like lacquers are classified by their solvent. This is lacquer. With enamels, um, it's a poly, uh, excuse me, uh, petroleum-based, oil-based solvent, okay? So that's why they're called uh, their enamels. And they create a hard enamel shell. Uh, these paints cure. When they dry, The they undergo a chemical change at the structural level and form a, and change into a chemically hard shell and that's why these when you spray them they stink you can tell they're cured when they stop smelling generally if it still smells it's still curing because it's off gassing i i just don't use enamels anymore i actually li really like model master enamel i use them for about a, a six month period on probably half a dozen builds uh when i got to the point where i was uh, my son, when he was born, moved me out of my, my bedroom in our old house and into the garage. And I was like, oh, I can spray uh, enamels and lacquers now because I'm in the garage. And I tried Model Master, and I, I like them. Uh, the problem with them is is they dry slow. Uh, it can take 
three, four days up to a week for them to feel, to to cure enough to be able to do anything over them, and that just slows things down. There's no need for that. Uh, lacquers kind of give uh, the best of both worlds. They're fast drying, like acrylics, but they give you the strength of enamels. So that's why I prefer them. Uh, now, with all the confusion, comes the acrylics, and there's two different there's different kinds of acrylics. Uh, the problem with the acrylics is uh, with la with lacquers and enamels, we classify them by their solvent, a lacquer solvent or a petroleum-based solvent. Uh, with acrylics, they're classified, they're called acrylics because they have acrylic resin binders. Uh, because of marketing, I think when the first acrylics came along, they were marketed as, as more health-friendly, water-soluble, uh, not needing harsh chemicals to be sprayed. You don't have to use a ventilator or wear a mask is, is kind of the idea. They're, they're more, they're more health-friendly. Uh, and the first ones were probably water, were more water-based. But people have come to think acrylic means water-based, and acrylic doesn't mean water-based. The, the term acrylic to describe these paints just means that they have acrylic uh, resin binders. But that is actually the case of all these paints. And, and that's why Mr. Paint can call them acrylic lacquers, because they have acrylic resin binders. Now, I don't know if they put the acrylic on there to kind of be shady and trick people into thinking they're more health friendly uh, since because it's pretty well known now that acrylic is kind of a buzzword for you for for healthy for not stinky not smelly um, being able to use them uh, without ventilation and stuff and, and not have to worry about the effects and I think that comes from uh, the nonsense uh, of people in the in the community saying to me is not a real acrylic it's a acrylic lacquer uh, well, kind of no, not really. It has an acrylic binder, like I said. It's a it's an acrylic paint because because it has an acrylic resin binder, but it's not water soluble, and acrylics don't have to be water soluble. Now it's the same. Acrylics are kind of the same as lacquer in, in, in how they dry because uh, the the uh, solvent evaporates out of the paint uh, as it dries. Uh, <clears throat> with enamels, there's a there's a chemical change at the chemical level. The 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 oil doesn't evaporate out; it changes the paint at the structural level. So, with Tamiya and Mr. Hobby, you have you have acrylic paints that are alcohol based. Now, people think that the the Tamiya is is isopropyl or, or, or IPA based. Uh, they're thinner. People think is just isopropyl alcohol repackaged, and it clearly says in propanol and, and butyl alcohol on the, on the bottle. Uh, there's there's actually a recipe of this floating around that, that's been posted a few times that tells you what's in it. I don't I don't know where it came from. I don't have it on hand. I'm not going to try to find it just to prove a point. But this stuff is not just isopropyl alcohol. Okay, it's it's other it's a blend of alcohols, and it has water in it too. Um, but it's used for thinning to me. It works. It works nicely. It'll thin Mr. Hobby as well. Uh, so will water. You can use water to thin them to a point. You can't push them as far. One I really like for, for thinning acrylics personally is, is Ultimate Airbrush Thinner. If you're going to be using the water base, uh, this is good to have because you don't really need to buy all the proprietary thinners for each one of these. This will work uh, pr pretty well. Pretty well. But if you want to push the the Tamiya and the and the Mr. Hobby further, you can also use the Mr. Color Leveling Thinner here. Uh, it works on those, and it also works on the ammo. I found that it actually thins the ammo really nicely, and you can get this to spray just as small as the Tamiya. At least I can. I don't. Some people claim they can't. I don't understand. I got this stuff to spray really beautifully, uh, thinning with Mr. Color Leveling Thinner, even though this is supposed to be a water-based acrylic paint. Okay. I, I can't explain it. I know that if you put the lacquer thinner in, in model air, it doesn't like it. If you put it in model color, it's going to turn to goo. Just like if you put a um, put a alcohol, just straight alcohol into that, it'll do the same thing. Uh, mission models and life color are also water based. The mission model is is unique, and they don't put the polyurethane in there. They sell that separate. Uh, the idea supposedly is that it makes it last longer on the shelf. Um, I don't know if there's any truth to that or not. Maybe in the long, long, long term. Uh, it just seems like a way to sell you another product to me. Uh, it, they're giving you an incomplete paint and selling you the polyurethane to put in it. And 
I bought several of these thinking I would I would like them. They're okay for base coats. They just don't spray small and I wouldn't want to use them on a freehand camo. That's that's just me. I couldn't get them to do that. Not when I can do something like MRP or AKs, you'll find that I really love these in my review. Uh, but these spray wonderfully thin with Mr. Coloring Level Thinner. Uh, and, and they look great. This is probably this is probably the, my favorite paint that I've ever sprayed. Uh, we'll talk about that in the review. But there you have it. Uh, just a quick little glimpse into paint chemistry. That's what all the confusion is about. With something like AK marketing themselves as an acrylic lacquer. Remember, uh, acrylic just means that it has an acrylic resin binder. Um, that's what holds the paint together and gives it its structure. That's what holds the pigments together and it's going to be present in all these. Uh, You've got to be careful with acrylics because they're not all water-based. Just uh, you, you can't think that acrylic means water-based and, and that you could be able to thin it with water and that it's not going to smell or anything. Uh, to me, as an acrylic, whether you like it or not, you can call it a true acrylic or, or a fake acrylic all you want. It's an acrylic paint. Uh, it's just got a it's just got a alcohol solvent, whereas something like Model Air has a water-based solvent. Um, that has its effects on, on performance. Uh, that's a little beside the point for the purposes of this video. Uh, but hopefully that clears up uh, some confusion with why they're calling uh, Mr. Paint and, and AK are calling their paints acrylic lacquers and why people say to me is not a real acrylic. Um, that's just the differences. Acrylics, acrylic paints in the hobby and in, in general are just really confusing because there's if there's 14 acrylic hobby paints, there's 15 uh, different chemistries behind them. Uh, so that's why the thinning is is always a mystery. Uh, like I said, you can you can solve that mystery a little bit with the Ultimate Airbrush Thinner. It works on all these. It doesn't make them all perform the best they can. You can get more out of the Tamiya and Mr. Color with Mr. Level Mr. Leveling Thinner. Uh, the same with the ammo I found. It doesn't have much effect on the mission. It turns these into into junk. Uh, so so don't even bother trying it. I hope that clears things up. I didn't want to go too in in depth and and sciency with the stuff. Just explain the the difference, the, the the big difference being in how these paints are classified, and that we need to understand that acrylic. I've said it 17 times in this video, probably. Acrylic does not mean water soluble. It just means it has an acrylic resin binder. All these paints do. All of them. Mr. Color, the AK, MRP, they all do. It's just it's just the way paints are made, especially in the hobby. So there's other paints out there like the car stuff, the gravities and the uh, zeros, and I don't know anything. Those are more polyurethanes, I think. I don't I don't know anything about those. I can't talk about those. Uh, that just complicates things more. But for your your basic paints, I think that's what you need to know, and I think that'll cover it nicely. So we'll see you in a few minutes. I'm going to turn around and get reset up and do a review of these awesome colors. Uh, and I hope you check that video out too. Uh, we'll see you then.